Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So in today's video, I'm just going to be doing a new haul. I picked up a few products for myself. I've gotten sent a few things. And I also have the Fall Beautycon box that I want to share with you guys and let you guys see what is in the Fall Beautycon box so you can decide if you want to purchase the box for yourself. I got sent the summer one and thought it was amazing, so I was really excited to get the fall one. And I'm excited to go through it with you. So if you want to see my most recent haul, please keep watching that I received is from Scentbird. Now Scentbird actually did reach out to me and asked if they could send me like their month's supply of perfume and I said yes. This is not a sponsored video from any of these companies that I'll be talking about even if they have sent me products. This is in no way sponsored by any of these companies but Scentbird did just email me and ask you know we're interested in having you try out Scentbird and see what you think of it. You know would you like us to send you the one month sample and I said sure I thought about it for a little bit because I'm not a huge huge perfume person like I own really nice perfumes and I spray perfumes but I think I tend to forget to put perfume on because they are still upstairs in my bedroom and that's where I used to get ready I used to get ready in my bathroom upstairs but I moved my entire makeup collection down here into my office and so oftentimes I get ready down here and then I just head out the door and I'm like oh I forgot perfume again so I always find myself like asking my friends like once we're out I'm like hey do you have any perfume I could borrow because I still do want to wear it I just always forget it so I thought about it for a little bit because I was like mm, you know is this going to be a good fit for me but I thought, you know there's really no like risk in trying it like why not just give the one month a try see how I like it see how it goes Babs Beauty very frequently and she had just put up a new perfume video so I watched hers and I picked out one of the scents that she had mentioned in there the scent that I picked out is Versace Bright Crystal so the way Scentbird works it's basically a, a service where you can try different perfumes and each month you can pick a different perfume scent and they will send you a new little bottle and it's supposed to last you for 30 days so you can try it out that was an interesting concept so I decided to say yes and so I just got my little scent bird in the mail so it came in this black package and then it does come with a card so it says how do you to use you twist to spray and twist to close just like a lipstick so when I get it out this is what like the packaging looks like and does say scent bird right here and then all you do is actually twist it and then you can see like the little spray nozzle right there and then you twist it down to close so I thought that was pretty fun and then to replace it it says you twist and pull the old vial up to remove oh okay so you just pull this out oh I see so there it is. says it Versace bright crystal and then so when you get your next one in the next month I think they just send you like this vial and then you would put it in your your little package already so that's pretty cool the thing that kind of like frustrated me when I first got this and I was gonna do this video is I was like oh shoot I don't remember what scent that I picked and so I went back to the email but if you just pull it up it does say it right on there for you so that's good to know you can go into your profile you can like rate the different perfumes you can make a different queue of scents that you might want to try I found the website really really easy to go over because it talks about the different notes uh, you know do you want something fruity or feminine or sexy or natural like it just it was really helpful because I'm not like I said I'm not like a huge perfume person I don't really understand a lot about perfume and picking out a perfume so I actually thought kind of like their guide that they had on the website was very very helpful to me because I was a little overwhelmed so I just got this two days ago and what I will say so far I will say that I really like the scent like I kept catching myself throughout the day like all of a sudden I'd smell me and I'm like oh <laughs> What is that? That smells nice. So Versace Bright Crystal. I really do like that one. It's more of a fruity scent. I believe it was under the fruity section. But what I like about this is that I have found myself like remembering to put this in my purse. So it's not a huge bottle by any means. That's what it looks like. So it's not huge by any means because my other perfume bottles that I have are quite larger and I don't want to put them in my purse. This one is really easy to just put in like the front pocket of my purse. And so hopefully I can keep remembering to do that so I can actually go through the bottle and like see what I really do think about this scent. But so far, that's what I really like about this. That it's going to be small enough to be able to put into my bag. So we will see. I'm excited for it. 
I'm excited to keep trying it. The website was really easy to go through. I like the concept of it. And then looking on the website, so it says you get a 30 day supply of any designer fragrance every single month for $14.95 a month. I just think that's a really fun way to be try being able to try different perfumes. Like, like if you're someone who really is into perfume and you like trying out the different scents, like 30 days for $14.95 for the designer perfume, like that's actually really not a bad deal because perfume is very, very expensive. Like I said, I only own like two designer perfumes and they were both gifted to me because I was like, I can't spend that much money. So to be able to try them out, especially when I have one that like I spray it, I'm like, I can't tell if I smell like an old lady or not. I kind of think I do though. So I don't gravitate towards that one a whole lot, but this is really cool to be able to try out the scents to know if you would actually want to spend that type of money on a designer perfume. You know that it's going to be one that you love. I will go ahead, I will leave a link to the Scentbird website down below. Like I said, I'm not an affiliate with them. I'm not getting paid or anything like that. So I will leave a link down to Scentbird down below if you are interested in trying it. I'm sure you guys have probably heard about it, but this is my first time trying it. So I'm quite excited and I'll keep you updated on what I think of my scent. I got this cute pink package in the mail and it says hello on it and then when I opened it up I had three different little boxes in here and I've been waiting to do a haul video before I really like took notice of what what I was doing so um, the little card that was sent just says hi Samantha I hope you'll enjoy our products look forward to hearing from you say hello to sexy legs so um, this company did ask if they could send me a package and I said yes because I was interested in trying these products out again not sponsored not being paid none of that so the Say Hello to Sexy Legs, first they sent along the Tinted Glow Gel. So that's what that one looks like. And it says it's Instant Perfect Legs Transfer Resistant Tinted Lotion. It says it's not a self tanner and it's for all skin tones. It's like this is a step system. So it says three steps for slimmer looking sexier legs. And this is step one. It's designed to deliver an instant natural looking bronze glow with the Tinted Glow gel moisturizes and softens skins while helping to cover imperfections and even the skin texture. It's formulated with caffeine and green tea to help correct the appearance of cellulite and it's designed for all skin tones, perfect, perfect looking legs for a day. So it says you just apply the gel generously all over the legs and let it dry for 35 minutes before putting clothes on. It's transfer resistant, will not stain clothes, and you can wash it off with soap and water. Okay, okay. So then moving on to step two, this is illuminating fluid. It's a leg highlighter. So let's see, it says it's designed to instantly deliver a beautiful highlight. The illuminating fluid glides weightlessly onto the skin to leave a shimmering youthful glow. It's formulated with caffeine and green tea, it's suitable for all skin tones. And you apply on targeted areas of the leg from the upper thigh to kneecap and shin for a radiant light reflecting and perfected skin texture. Okay. I'm into this, I'm into this. And then for the final step, step three, this is a contour stick and it says leg definer. So it says portable and easy to use. The contour stick adds definition and depth to your legs by accentuating muscle lines. It's ultra light texture blends easily into the skin and use the contour stick to sculpt and define the thighs and calves. It's wide stick applicator is specifically designed for the legs. So leg contouring, I saw like, I saw some stuff about leg contouring a while back on like Instagram and such and thought it was pretty interesting. So let me actually open up each of the packages so I can show you what the product looks like. Okay, so this is the step one. So that is the tinted glow gel that you put all over the legs. And then step two, this is the leg highlighter. And then here is the contour stick. So I'm definitely curious to give this a try. That's just like a big old contour stick. I'm curious to give this a try to see what it looks like, especially for events where you have to wear like a dress or a shorter dress. This could be really interesting. I will definitely be trying this out. Thank you to Say Hello to Sexy Legs for sending me this package. Such a fun concept. Before I get onto the Beauty Com box, I purchased just two things for myself recently. No big deal. First is the Vegas Nay and Eye Lure Lashes in Grand Glamour. I have these lashes and I love them and they are always sold out. I saw this one pair at Target the other day and I was like, I am taking them. I am obsessed with these lashes. The other thing that I picked up from myself is from Kylie Cosmetics. It is one of her matte liquid lipsticks in the shade Exposed. It is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So I have purchased from Kylie Cosmetics before I have three of her like original lip glosses and I also have the matte lipstick in Candy K. And I really love this formula of the matte liquid lipsticks. I just never wanted to pay $10 for shipping because I think that's just silly. 
and extreme and I just want to do it and I held strong onto that even though she was coming out with some great colors and everyone was watching them and wearing them I thought they looked beautiful but I was like don't do it don't you pay $10 for shipping because you do not live that life Samantha don't do it and then one day Kylie said hey for like 20 I think it was 24 hours she said free shipping on everything and I was like sign me up thank you and I also really liked it because with her matte liquid lipsticks when they first came out they were in the lip kit which came with the lip liner and the liquid lipstick and they're like $29 and I'm like mmm like I didn't mind it the first time but I was like I really don't wear lip liners very frequently at all maybe like one out of every seven times I wear lipsticks I put lip liner on so a lot of her like first shades that she came out with in liquid lipstick form, she now has them in the singles and exposed as one of them. I did want a few other shades from her like more recent color launches, but those are still only sold in the lip kits. And I was like, I just don't need the lip liners. Be strong, Samantha. Just wait for it. So I ended up just getting exposed. And like I said, it's the color on my lips right now. The lighting, the sun's kind of going down, so the lighting's going a little crazy, but... I really love it. It's just a very pretty nude. I love nudes. The shade looked gorgeous when it first came out a while back. I was like, I want that so bad. So when she offered free shipping, I was so excited. I hope that she does more free shipping in the future because hopefully, like, I just really hope the orders were, like, so high that day that she was like, I should do this more often because I would totally purchase more. But I just didn't want to pay $10 for shipping. I think the single liquid lipstick was, like, $17.00 which I also didn't think was bad because I buy Anastasia and Kat Von D liquid lipsticks and they're 20. So I didn't think 17 was a bad price. So far, this is my first time wearing Exposed and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll keep playing with it. I love this formula. It's one of my favorite out of liquid lipsticks formulas. So excited that I got Exposed. The thing that I want to go through is my Beautycon box. This is the fall Beautycon box. I was so excited to get this box because I was actually sent the summer box and I did an unboxing video here on YouTube and... I was so excited when they reached out to me again and said, hey, you know, would you be interested in us sending you the fall box? Again, not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid. I, they didn't even say that I needed to do a video on it, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm new to these beauty con boxes. The summer one was the first one that I ever received, and I thought it was amazing. So I was really excited to get the fall box. They are annual boxes, so they come four times a year. This is the fall box. Each box has like a curator, so you know, someone who is picking out the products. And this month, I think this is the first month that there were two. So it is Angel and Makeup Shayla. Also do get a list of everything that is in the box. There's no prices on it, but it has the brand and what they are. And then also, and this came out in the summer one too, there's like a portrait of whoever is the curator. So there is Angel and Makeup Shayla. And then the box also came, like everything was wrapped in this like gold packaging, which I don't remember there being like any sort of packaging from the last box. I think everything was just kind of like stuffed in there. So I was like, ooh, that's fancy. So you get some stickers. I don't really know what exactly I will do with these stickers, but I thought they were pretty funny. And there was also a pin in here from Laser Kitten, and it's just like a little lipstick pin. And then also, I was really, I was really excited for these. You get some cleansing and facial wipes from Simple. So this is what they look like. I love facial wipes. I can't help it guys, especially even to keep down here. I do use them like on my face, especially when traveling, but it's really also handy to have in my office or if I'm ever doing any swatches, really handy. So I'm like a hoarder of facial wipes, so good stuff. Also in here was an eyeshadow from Milani and it is in Bella Cappuccino. So it's a really pretty brown color. I have quite a few of these Bella eyeshadows from Milani and I'm pretty much positive I have cappuccino so I'll probably be putting this in a future giveaway. It's just a really nice matte brown shade and I really do like these shadows from Milani. I think these were the first shadows that I ever tried from Milani and they're good ones. So also in here I did a unboxing on my Snapchat as well. If you don't follow me on Snapchat I am Samantha.March. Maybe you'll follow me over there because we have a lot of fun. And I did an unboxing and I pulled these out and I, they're Sugar Fina Sugar Lips. So these are what they look like and I'm like, are these candy? Do I eat them? I haven't decided yet. I'm pretty sure they have to be candy because like why else? I mean like sugar lips. It has to be candy, right? But I've been waiting to do this video so I can show you guys them and then I'm probably going to eat them because I love sugar and I love candy and I want to eat these. 
So also in the Fall Beauty Con box, this is from the Brow Gel by Tanya Crooks. It's a double-ended shimmer matte gold nude highlighter pencil. So this is what it looks like and then when you open it up, it is just like a dual-ended pencil. So you have like a gold side on one end and then a nude on the other. So I'm assuming it's meant almost like the high brow from Benefit to like clean up under your brows or highlight under your brows. So very fun. So this is from Mystic Tan. It's the Confident Flirty Kissed Customizable Bronzer. So it's a Mocha Kissed Bronzer Lotion. So this is what it looks like. There was also like a face self tanner in the summer box and this one is supposed to be I think for all over your body. It helps give you a tan look so might be trying this out soon. This product is from Jouer. It is their Essential Lip Enhancer. So that's what the packaging looks like. It also says it's a conditioning lip treatment. It says load it with clinically proven maxi lip to increase fullness of lips while decreasing fine lines. Excellent. Also got a brush which really excited me because I do love getting brushes. This is from Luxie. It's the 504 Large Angled Brush. To take it out of the packaging, this is what it looks like. I will be keeping this brush. So I am super excited. It's very soft. Looks to be good for contour or even blush. I love brushes, so really excited to get this. So also in there, we're getting a liquid lipstick from Ofra. That's one of their long-lasting liquid lipsticks, and the shade is in Mocha. So it looks to be like a brown nude shade. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep this. I think I am because I've never tried the Ofra liquid lipsticks before, but just in case, I don't want to swatch it yet in case I decide it'll go in a giveaway, but... Oh, for a lipstick. I thought that was pretty cool. And then the final two things that were in the Fall Beauty Con box are for lashes. I love lashes, so this really excited me. So in the box are these Flutter lashes. They are the Eye Slay lashes, so they are in collaboration with Makeup Shayla and Flutter lashes. Really excited to try these. I know she also did the Slayla lashes, I believe they are with flutter lashes and I hear a lot of good things about them so I'm really excited to try out the eye slay and I just I love lashes so that's awesome then it also came with some eyelash adhesive so this is from duo it does say it's clear white I'm a little hesitant on white eyelash adhesive but I'll try it and see if it does dry clear but really excited to try these lashes so I thought it was pretty cool that they included some adhesive as well so that's everything that's in the fall beauty con box if you're interested in getting your own box uh, I will leave that linked down below I do have a discount code if you want to get five dollars off you can use my code March fall uh, it's not like an affiliate code I'm not gonna get paid for that it's just for you to have some money off if you do an annual subscription so if you want to get all four boxes it's $99 or if you just want to do just by the seasons the boxes are $29 and then if you added my code you get the five dollars off so that will all be linked down below all of the boxes are the same so everything that I just showed you in the fall beauty com box you'll be getting they're not different for anybody else so if you guys are interested in receiving the products that I just showed you then I would definitely say go ahead and check out the fall box and don't forget if you want to get the five dollars off just use my code March fall to save a little bit of money the beauty con links will be down below as well but that's actually gonna wrap it up for my haul that's everything that I have been sent lately and then a couple of products that I got there for myself. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my latest haul. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you are subscribed before you go and I will catch you real soon in my next one. Bye!